شكرا lovely people so today I am in the kitchen and I'm just gonna do a little bit of a sit down chat take you through the video there will be a physique update there will be some training today is Wednesday it is the 5th of February it is my sister's birthday so shout out to my sister Adele happy birthday I go home tomorrow so that we can all celebrate because it's a big one I'm not gonna age her by telling everyone, but it's a big one. So I'm going home tomorrow to Ireland to celebrate. Lex is already in Dublin doing some training at SPG. I just wanted to hop on here, update you guys on how things are going, cause it's February. The longest month ever of the year, which is January, is finally over. We are into February. So that means we are well underway with our New Year's resolutions. This year, I did not make major resolutions to change anything in my life because right now I'm quite content, I'm quite happy with how everything is going in my private life, in my fitness life, in my physical life, mental, everything, all my well-being is quite balanced. So I just wanted to really continue that on throughout 2020. So it's kind of like maintenance year, making everything keep going well oiled and keep it, keep it all upbeat, positive, I did, however, say that I wanted to shift a couple, just a couple of pounds. For the last couple of months, I have been maintaining my weight about 118 to 120 pounds. In January, I started off at 120 pounds. I am down to wavering between 117 to 118 pounds. So that's good. Not a major drop. I'm not looking to shred a major amount of weight. One of the things that I found difficult was that I went back to tracking macros. Now, I haven't tracked macros in about two months. I'd say I have been intuitively eating. So what intuitively eating is, is probably for me and for someone who has tracked their macros, it can be um, a nice kind of welcome break from stringently tracking your macros all the time. As someone who has tracked her macros and tracked her intake for six years plus, um, I feel like I know what the nutritional content of my food is. I know when I'm taking in enough carbs, fats and protein and I listen to my body quite well now that I'm able to kind of take breaks from tracking your macros. If you're someone who is still on a weight loss journey or trying to build muscle and you are not exactly in tune with what you're eating and your body etc and how it reacts, I would stick to tracking. But I found that going back to tracking for me, in the past month, I tried tracking again and I found myself kind of focusing a lot on my intake rather than just getting on with my day to day and a healthy mindset and a healthy body and get moving and all those things that I want to do this year. And I felt like I was taking a step backwards in my progress, both mentally and physically. So I decided again to start intuitively eating again and kind of make a more conscious effort with it really ensure that I am taking in enough food and water, but simply just not track it. I've been listening to my body, weighing myself daily, still keeping track of the macros in the food I'm eating. Like I'm not just picking up random food and eating it because I'm hungry. I will still look at the nutritional intake on food. I will still portion out food where I feel that it's important to portion out. Things like peanut butter, which are very high in fat, and things like rice, where it is quite hard to evaluate visually what the volume is. It can be important with certain 
things that you take into your body to actually track them. But then it has given me the kind of peace of mind that I can go out and have a nice breakfast out and not be stressing that I haven't had enough protein all day. And I'm just listening to my body and reacting that way. It has helped me become less obsessed with my intake, less obsessed with my weight day to day and it just has really helped me recently. Right now I'm sticking with that and I also have my new partners, Prozis, who are providing me with loads of nutritional intake through their protein powders, which are really helpful, their supplements, which supplement for my hair, my skin, my nails, all of my different supplements I get from Prozis. And also they have a lot of foodstuffs, which is gonna lead me into my next piece of this video, which may seem like a bit of a sidetrack, but Valentine's Day is coming up. And as this is a fitness and health channel, I'm gonna take you through a few things that I think you could get from your online supplement store Prozis that could be quite cool Valentine's Day presents if you are in a fitness couple. Now this could be for guys or for girls. Obviously for girls, you could simply get her a nice little gym set. I've done a previous video of all my current favorite pieces of fitness clothing from Prozis. So if you wanna go check them out, at the prices, everything on that video, it's my last video. And you also get 10% discount and maybe a surprise gift if you spend over 60 pounds, but you get 10% off everything regardless of how you spend if you use the code Lainey, just at the checkout. So it's on step four, use Lainey, and give you 10% off. But Prozis, they are my partners and they provide me with my supplements, my protein snacks, which are so important when you have a sweet tooth like me. And they also provide my fitness clothing, as I've said, but also some really awesome fitness accessories that could be a really cool gift. Now, they also I've seen on their website, they do like these little gift boxes. So you could, for a cool present, buy one of the gift boxes and buy a number of different little things on the website, put it in the box, there you got it. Cool present. Now this isn't just for Valentine's Day if you've got birthday coming up or it's just for your gal pal that you want to do a Galentine's Day. Hook her up. Cool present. They also have gift vouchers if you want to treat someone you don't really know them that well. I'm talking about someone you won't even date in a couple of weeks, you met them in the gym, you don't really know what to get them. Get them a gift voucher. Mm. But here are my top things that I think would be really nice items for Valentine's Day. So number one, I'm a coffee gal, and you can get these really cool, but they have a selection of different um, reusable coffee cups, and they are all thermal, and they have a straw, a plastic straw, so environmentally friendly, they're massive, so you can have a really big coffee in that. And they also do coffee capsules if you have an espresso machine, so helping everyone out, they also do tea, loads of different teas, so if your girl or guy is into different teas, things like that, Perfect gift, you could get them the gift of caffeine. Okay, a little bit more of an expensive one, but they have a selection of different headsets, and um, so earphones. These ones are the Silentia Dawn. Now, they have, they are silencing headphones, which I didn't realize you have to press a little button to make them drown out the surrounding sounds, but they're just Bluetooth headset. I really like them because Number one, they just sit around your neck like this because sometimes you don't want it. If I've got a little headband on, I don't want one that goes this way. I don't like the little ear pods because I'm always afraid that I'm going to lose them. So this way, they also just magnetize together and they just pop in your ears like this. And this is like a little earpiece to keep it in. And I just think they're pretty funky and you're not going to lose them because it's kind of like mittens on a string except it's headphones on a string but they do loads of different headphones if you're into your music if your girl's into their music or your guy or whoever you're looking to buy for really cool gift and i'll link them down below all the things i suggest in this video i will link down below with individual links so if you're lazy and you don't want to throw through the website i'll do that for you guys another cool one if your girl or guy is starting to track their macros it is a battery free rechargeable so you do this and it actually charges this and it's a food scales but not only is it a food scales hair and um, not only is it a food scales that does grams ounces milliliters 
if you um, press the little button down below you can also you might be able to see it here but on the screen here it's kind of like on the weighing plate here there are um, little icons so little silver icons chicken butter sugar flour eggs chocolate beef and if you press that button it will read the calories that are in that food so if you weigh out your chicken and you're new to tracking your food you've got 50 grams of chicken it will also give you your calories so you can track your calories so i think this is an awesome gift probably not for someone that you're newly dating because it might be kind of like you're insinuating that they should start weighing their food but let's say it's someone who um, you know likes to weigh their food or is just starting on a weight loss journey or a weight gain journey and you think that this will be helpful to them it is a really cool gift they also do um, humidifiers with uh, essential oils which I think would be a really nice gift hint hint Lex I really like one and they also do um, sports watches so you can track your heart rate which um, uh, Mr Griffin may be getting for his Valentine's Day <laughs> you'll have seen this in my previous video if you haven't watched it go watch it now but it is a really cool gym bag so this is kind of something that you can get someone who you're newly dating, you know, they go to the gym and, you know, they're going from work and it has like a little zip compartment down here. Now I keep like my deodorant and like my weightlifting belt, things like that in there. And then obviously if you want to put like your damp, dirty clothes um, down there. And then also then you have the main compartment that has a little other places for everything so you can put headphones which i do they also have things like padlocks for your gym locker like you can just really hook someone up through process right now for fitness and for valentine's day so if you want to give a really thoughtful fitness related gift to your loved one or your valentine or whoever your mom your dad if that's what you do at valentine's day there you go hook it up and again it is Laney and all the links will be down below so just use it press it go for it now i'm going to take you through an at-home workout so while lex is away yesterday i did go out to the gym i left the house you know I, I had a lot of things on my little list to get done before i go to ireland tomorrow so today i obviously was doing more things at home laundry you know all the exciting things that we do but I feel a bit bad leaving the dogs because tomorrow they go to the kennels and I just want to spend as much time as I can with them today. So I'm going to do an at-home workout. And I got this set of um, resistance bands on Amazon. I will also link them down below. Uh, they're really handy to have. They're really inexpensive. Like you can pick them up for about 20 to 25 pounds. Lex and I both use these for when we um, either forget that the gym closes at 8 o'clock the weekend or for when we just don't want to go out because it's too miserable and wet or something and we just want to get some kind of workout in at least you're getting a decent workout in at a home and it's not costing you much i'm not saying it's a substitution for the gym but it's a pretty good filler for when you don't have time to get to the gym and you're limited on time maybe you have kids you've got family and you just want to do a quick workout at home to stay on track so here it is enjoy if you like the video make sure to give it the thumbs up see you next time
Yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause bitch, they behave.